Well, for, for men, there are very few methods of contraception available. And the method that is most widely used, which is effective, is the condom. And the condom provides a barrier against the sperm entering into the woman's vagina and fertilizing an egg. So if I can just show you on this model here, um, this is a half size model and, and a condom would fit over the penis and then when the sperm and semen is ejaculated, it doesn't enter the vagina. Sperm are made down here in the testicles and when a man ejaculates, the sperm travel up this tube and then down out of the end of the penis. So what I'm going to show you is how the condom works and I'm going to do a demonstration. So I'm going to take the condom demonstrator and um, just use an ordinary condom and what we need to do first of all with the condom is check for its expiry date and this one expires in August 2016 so we've got plenty of time and um, a CE mark which shows that the condom is, has been tested and is to a very high standard. The condom also needs to have been kept in really good condition. So we need to check the packet is still intact and if we squeeze the packet we'll find it looks a little bit like a cushion and there's no air escaping. And once we've checked the packet it's quite useful just to hold it up against the light to see if there's any holes in it, making sure nobody's tampered with it. Next, with male condoms, the most important thing about using them really is that the man has to have an erection when the condom's being used. Um, if he didn't, then the condom, when it gets put on, can twist, it can fall off, and it would provide very limited protection. So that's really important. And we'll um, squeeze the condom to one side of the packet and that will just make sure that when we rip the packet open we don't rip the condom, tear it down like that and then very carefully just squeeze it out onto our hand and the reason for doing that is to make sure that we don't damage the condom with our fingernails and to check that the condom's the right way round. There is a right and a wrong way that's the right way round because it would roll outwards and that's the wrong way round. And if we put the condom on the wrong way round and soon realise that was the case because it doesn't roll properly and then turned it over, we would be putting ourselves at risk because um, before a man ejaculates, he's often produced some fluid, um, pre-ejaculatory fluid or pre-cum, which um, can be on the outside of the condom. And as we only need one sperm to fertilise an egg, that could do the job. So we have to make sure that the condom's the right way round before it goes on. So that's the right way round. And then we'll squeeze the air out of the end of the condom to leave some space for um, ejaculation. And then just very carefully roll it down. So it's the whole length of the penis that has to roll down. Then we can let go and then we can have protected sex. After sex, the um, semen containing the sperm is down here. And um, although I can't demonstrate on this model, usually the penis goes soft straight after sex. So what we're trying to do is keep all the sperm down here. And um, withdrawing from the partner's vagina, we need to just hold on to the end of the condom withdraw like that and keep all the sperm down here. So staying apart so there's no chance at all of the sperm getting near the entrance to the vagina. And then holding the condom at the bottom and just um, taking it off like this so that all of the sperm stay down in the bottom of the condom. What we would then do is tie this into a knot, wrap it up in a tissue or a bag, paper bag or something, and dispose of it in the bin. They should never be disposed of down the toilet because they can block the toilet.